Welcome back to TechFlick. B550 is finally here. In today's buying guide, we are targeting a budget of 900 Singapore dollars, which is around 650 US dollars. We are going for a black and white team build. It's going to be clean and powerful. What are we waiting for? Let's roll the intro. Alright, so a quick note. Firstly, all the prices for the PC components in this guide will be in Singapore dollars. For this budget build, I'm targeting around 900 plus dollars, which is equivalent to around 650 US dollars. Secondly, all the prices shown are as of making of this video. I cannot emphasize this. As the prices may vary, you may end up paying more or less the amount shown in this video. Thirdly, I will summarize the exact PC components for the $900 build towards the end of this video. If you are looking for more storage and slightly better processor, there is also a $950 build summary included at the end of the video too. And finally, this online shopping guide will only cover two popular online stores in Singapore, mainly from Shopee.sg and Amazon.sg. These two stores have very competitive PC components prices in Singapore, but if you can get a better deal in store or elsewhere, I advise you to go with that option. So with that out of the way, let's start the online buying guide. First up in Shopee.sg, we will be going for the Ryzen 3100 4 hour processor. This is the newest budget Ryzen 3000 series processor with a 4 core and 8 threads processor and going for the price of $151.21 which is equivalent to around $109 US dollars. This processor also includes a CPU cooler which is the Rave Stealth cooler. So this is a great option for a processor especially for a budget gaming build. Of course, we are going for the new B550 for our motherboard. Here in Amazon.sg, we are going for the ASRock Pro 4. This motherboard comes in at a price of $161.54, which is equivalent to around $120 US dollars. This comes in 60 Singapore dollars more than its brother B450M Pro 4. So we are going to do a quick comparison on the difference and what you get paying $60 more. Alright, so as you can see here on the left, we have the B550M Pro 4 and on the right, we have the B450M Pro 4. Alright, so both motherboard is a micro ATX motherboard. So it's slightly shorter than your normal ATX motherboard. The first difference that you can see looking at both of them is that the color scheme is different. So the B550M comes in a black and white which fits in our black and white theme nicely. While the older B450M is kind of grayish with black, it looks really a monotone. While the B550 looks kind of fresh with its black and white theme. And secondly, if you notice, the B550M Pro 4 includes a heatsink painted in white and also includes a M.2 shield but the B450 includes a heatsink but it's slightly smaller as compared to the B550 large heatsink and the M.2 slot it does not have a shield so both motherboard actually comes with a dual M.2 for SSD while the B550 includes a PCIe Gen 4 M.2 slot and also a PCIe 3.0 M.2 Whereas both M.2 slots in the B450 is PCIe Gen 3. So there's also another thing that is new in the B550 Pro 4 motherboard, RGB headers. So the older B450, from what I see, it does not include any RGB header. Whereas the B550 includes two 3-pin RGB header and 4-pin RGB header. So the 3-pin is for addressable RGB, whereas the normal 4-pin is for the normal RGB. So you can make use of ASRock Polychrome RGB technology and that's very interesting. So another thing to take note of is that it comes with a PCIe 4.0 slot for your GPU and this PCIe 4.0 slot comes with a reinforced steel slot which I think the older B450 does not have. It doesn't come with a reinforced steel slot so the addition of this and the PCIe 4 is a welcome addition. As written in the title above, this motherboard is Ryzen 3000 compatible out of the box. So you don't have to worry when pairing with the processor that we recommend, the Ryzen 3100. If you want some future proofing, the B550 is going to be compatible with the new Ryzen 4000 series processor which is slated to release this year. And possibly this B550 chipset 
is also going to be compatible with the future Ryzen 5000 or even 6000 series processor. So I'm really hoping this motherboard will last long. However, if you don't really care about future proofing and want a cheaper motherboard, check out my $850 PC buying guide which features the B450 chipset. Links are at the top right. So for this motherboard right now you can save with buying the Ryzen 3100 for now and then down the road you have the option to switch to Ryzen 4000 or maybe even 5000 processor without changing the motherboard. That is very cool. For the RAM, if you're staying in Singapore, there's no better place to buy RAM online but in Amazon.sg. Prices do fluctuate but so far they have the lowest online prices that I can find. At the price of 9130 which is equivalent to around 66 US dollars, here we are going with the team group T Force Dark Z Alpha 16 GB kit. This comes in two 8 GB RAM sticks, so dual channel. And this kit is especially made for the AMD Ryzen. Ryzen also loves speedy RAM and at 3200 MHz speed and at CL16, this is a pretty decent speed. Some reports also say that this is a sweet spot when it comes to gaming. It comes in black, so it will fit in our PC team build nicely. Now for storage, we have the PNY CS 900 240GB SSD. This is a 2.5 inch SETA Rev3 SSD and at a price of $43.54 which is equivalent to around $32 US dollars. This is great value but you can choose to add more storage like 480 gigabyte or maybe a closer to one terabyte or even an additional high capacity hard drive but to hit our 900 dollars budget we are going for only this 240 gigabyte ssd always go for an ssd where possible they have faster boot times and load times in general as compared to mechanical hard drive all right so going back to shopee.sg so in any gaming pc build we will need a dedicated graphics card in this case uh, we are going with the Galaxy GeForce GTX 1660 Super OC for our graphics card at the price of 329 Singapore dollars which is equivalent to around 240 US dollars. This card will deliver around 60 frames per second at 1080p with medium to high settings in today's gaming title. Okay, so I was actually contemplating on either going for the Zotac GTX 1660 Super Twin Fan or the Galaxy uh, GeForce GTX 1660 Super. Both actually comes with a dual fan. However, the Zotac Twin Fan does not come with a back plate. Whereas the Galaxy one actually comes with a back plate and comes in this black and white design, which is gonna match with our black and white team build. The Galaxy card also comes in better boost clock speed and for a price of one Singapore dollars difference, I decided to go with the Galaxy GTX 1660 Super instead. For the power supply, I've chosen the Cooler Master MWE White 500W version 2. The GTX 1660 Super has a recommended 450 watt, so this 500 watt power supply is great for this build. I have used a Cooler Master power supply before, and so far they are great value power supply in my opinion. This comes in at a price of 65 Singapore dollars, which is equivalent to around 47 US dollars. And what I like about this power supply is that they have flat black cables. So black cables does nicely with our black and white team build. This power supply also comes with 80 plus white certification. However, this is a non-modular power supply. It's okay for any build but if you are looking for a modular power supply, I'll link another power supply which I did an overview of at the top right hand corner. Finally, for our PC case, if you are in Singapore or living in Asia and you are looking for a budget case, I would definitely recommend the Techware case. Even if I have not built in one or reviewed this case before, Techware makes cases that are of great value. At a price of 59 Singapore dollars, which is equivalent to around 43 US dollars, this case comes in three fans and a tempered glass side panel. And at this price point, this is a great value. So do note that this is a micro ATX case and since our motherboard is a micro ATX motherboard, it's gonna fit in this case nicely. It comes in a two colors, the black and the white and on the front panel at the side, you have an addressable RGB lighting. So for this PC buying guide, I will go with the white case but you can choose the black case depends on whichever you like. And the white case is not entirely white, it has some black accents to it. So it's gonna fit in our black and white theme really nicely. I'm definitely looking forward to reviewing this case when I have the chance in the future. But right now, for this buying guide, this is the perfect case for all our PC components.
Alright, so I've gone through all the PC components for this budget $900 build and now we are gonna summarize it. Next, I will list down all the components and their prices. I will also include a $950 build summary with a slightly better processor and higher storage capacity if you are looking for that. I never make promises Cause I don't keep them all right guys i hope you find this online shopping guide useful i will put all the components down below let me know if you need links to each of the components too if you find this useful or if you have any questions on the guide do leave a comment down below as always if you like what you see click the like button if you love what you see subscribe for more future tech stuff until then stay home stay safe stay healthy this is TechFlick signing out